Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, we're going to be looking at generative AI and more specifically at generating images that you can use with your students in class. Now, I love starting today with a prompt on the whiteboard. This is usually an image that is thought provoking and then the students have to write about that image or describe it. Well, what better way to create these images than having AI create high quality images for us? So let's go ahead and use Adobe Firefly to do just that. Now here I'm on the main website, it's still currently in beta, but let's go ahead and have a play with Adobe Firefly. We're going to scroll down and here you can see the main two that are currently available are text to image and text effects. So let's start with the text to image. This is the one I use the most with my students because I generate an image and then they describe it. So let's go ahead and describe our first image. I want to see a cute little dragon, preferably a blue dragon who is dressed up as a firefighter. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to say a cute blue dragon dressed as a firefighter. Background is a forest. There we go. Very easy. We're going to just quickly generate those images. Adobe Firefly is going to interpret the text and then generate four images. Now these images, there we go. As you can see, they look amazing. We can always click on each image and see a larger version of that. So here's the first that was generated, the second, the third, and fourth image. I really like this one. So let's say that I want to use this one now as a prompt for my students as they enter the classroom. What I can do is here at the top, I can click on download. It's automatically going to add those content credentials at the bottom. So let's go ahead and continue. It's tagging the content to make sure that everybody knows that this content was generated with AI. And we now have an image that we can use as a story starter or as a morning prompt with our students. You can see the quality is really top notch. It's a beautiful image and it did exactly what I wanted it to do. In addition to that, you can always click on the three dots. You can submit it to the gallery, copy this to your clipboard, or if anything went wrong, you can always report the image. So let's go ahead and submit this to the Firefly gallery. We're going to submit. We can also click on the top left side and this is show similar images. So we can now use this image and then create more images off of this one image. So there we go, it's now doing just that. And it's created three extra images, all cute little blue dragons dressed as firefighters. In addition to this, you can also use different art styles. So here on the right hand side, you can see we have different aspect ratios, but also styles. So let's say that I want to go with graphic. It's now going to regenerate all those images in that different style. So here we have a different style. As you can see, it's more graphical. We can then scroll down and let's say that I want it a little bit darker. So we're going to go with a, uh, a darker tone. So we're going to go with a muted color tone, the lighting is going to be dramatic, and the composition is going to be shot from above. So let's regenerate these images. And there you go, you can see we have a very different style of image now, and also it's taken those things into consideration. So here we have another example of what Adobe Firefly can do. This is incredible. You can use this with your students. You can use this for your students. Maybe you have your students describe things to you, really practicing that descriptive writing, and then you simply plug it into Adobe Firefly and see what comes out. More recently, we had our very young learners describe dragon eggs, and then those descriptions were popped into Firefly and different dragon eggs were generated. They absolutely loved it and they got excited about seeing their ideas and their writing visualized in a beautifully generated image. Now, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel, share it with a teacher friend, and let me know in that comment section below how you might use Adobe Firefly. Now, the links to all this are in the description. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.